when I started here, they were so tight together, a few of them had to pop in order for me to do what I had to do. Mm. But guess what? It's still sturdy. It's mm -hmm. still strong. Because you know what you're doing. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm sure the children in that village will have the same story as I had by sitting when, when they were young by the mother, grandmother, whoever, I sat by my mother, and she was making baskets, and when they were too young, they would imitate, I, mean, I guarantee it, we have almost the same story. We would, I would imitate my mother, and then I realized at some point when I was four years old that my basket did not look like hers. Wow. Have you ever seen a cat got into a, uh, a, um, some yarn? Have you seen it? Have you seen how the cat just destroyed the yarn? Well, that's how my basket looked at first. <laughs> and so when I looked at my mother and looked at mine, it's like, and so I started asking her questions. And then she then taught me how to make it. And I would say when I got about 10 to 12, I would say, unfortunately, when I got good <laughs> enough, she would have me and my siblings make the bottoms when we got good, and then she would finish making a basket. But when I was 10 or 12, I was into the Jackson 5, and I wanted to you know, do the dance and sing and everything. <laughs> I did not want to do basket. I hated it with a passion. But then, as I got a little older, in my 20s, I hate to say it, but I learned more about my people. I learned more about the history I learned more about how we are connected, although they're on the other side of the sea. I'm going to stop, pause right here, and take some questions. <laughs> Anybody have any questions? How, how do you get the color in? Is it in, in my basket, tight? My basket? No, I need the other one. How the do you other. get a color? Okay. Yeah. You want to answer that? Uh, sure, it's, it's dye. They dye the, the pamedo or the palm strip that they use to sew. They dye it into these different colors. So they'll strip the pamedo and they lay it out to dry for a few days and after that they dye them. They use indigo and some other fancy colors. Roots and stuff like that or something? Yes. I think the Indians do it too. They do too. Yeah, like certain. Well, like I said earlier, this is. This is one of the uh, material culture that connects Africa to America. Mm -hmm. This is one of the things that's left. This and the language, but this is more vivid because you can see it, right? Yes. And uh, when Nakia went into that village in Sierra Leone, she also left uh, her impression on those folks. She actually took two baskets that we left there as gifts, but uh, people were in awe just like I said earlier, to see, uh, they, only, they only make these baskets in one place in my country. And uh, people outside in other communities don't even know how to do this. Mm -hmm. And then here comes someone from a big bird, and a big bird that came mm -hmm. to Africa, and she has this magic. So it was really also uh, a market impression on those people in the villages. Yeah, so thank you for that too. You're welcome. Yeah. Well, it's the same story as, as far as Mount Pleasant, uh, the group of people there on this scene making baskets. I have a question. So, um, if those baskets that were made here were they brought that, that skill over from Africa, mm -hmm. so like language kind of diverts when you go over time. You know, they change a little bit. So, are the baskets um, back in Sierra Leone are they different than the ones? In the mm -hmm. <laughs> she went through that already, and but she'll do it again quickly. <laughs> the difference. Yeah, they, they are different because it's not the fact that. You have to realize too, when, you, when you're talking about Africans who are captured and, and, and put into captivity, you're talking about Africans from different parts of West Africa. Mm -hmm. Where you have baskets in Senegal, mm -hmm. you can see their grass. So here you have a basket maker from Senegal, and then you have a basket maker from Sierra Leone who are captured into captivity. Well, and see, they might 
because of time's sake, probably this was the fastest way to make a basket that, so they can finish quickly, so they can make eat. money. Yeah. Right, make money. Right. It's all about winnowing the rice and making money. Mm -hmm. And so this would be the fastest way to do it. You learned it to from me. your mother. I learned from my mother. Here in the United States? Yes. 